I've only ever been in love once. Uh, it was with a girl I met when I was 18, but I was too young and naive to handle it properly. And I guess I still carry a torch for it, which makes me an incurable romantic or underdeveloped emotionally. I'm a loyal friend. I like girls with nice smiles. Nice smiles. Well, uh, the psych profile says so. Mm hmm. Yeah, like horoscopes and everything. <laughs> Love you. I love complicated men. So, what is on the menu? A talker. Well, I can look at them. So, what made you pick me? You like your girls a little gothic. Hmm. 
Snow White evokes something a little dark. It is shorthand for asphyxiation or sleep fantasy. You know, I have a kinky side. Don't you? What do you do, Prince Charming? Short for work. You have uh, serious eyes, but I see something a little wild inside. No one is listening. Tell me. Really? Well, how do I know you are telling the truth? And they're always honest with sex workers, even in real life. They save their lives for the people that matter, their wives, their bosses. You are married. <laughs> you know, there are other things we can talk about that you wouldn't say to your wife. Your session is almost over and we haven't even fooled around yet. You like to fool around? Okay, you are the boss. Will you come back some other time? I like you. Goodbye, my prince. To my honey, I'll cool love's pink honeymoon keeps it shining in June. Your silvery beams will bring love's dreams, will be cut on it soon, by the silvery moon. Funny. I only sing when I'm in the dark or in the bath. Maybe. Your silvery beams will bring love's dreams, will be cut on it soon by the silvery moon. Funny. I only sing when I'm in the dark or in the...
The silver and blue. You have a beautiful voice. No, I'm serious. Oh well, then you gotta call me next time you're in the uh, you're in the dark. What? Okay, I'll take maybe. Maybe it's good. Shining in June, your silvery beams will bring love's dreams, will be cut on soon by the silvery moon. We cut on soon by the silvery moon. Funny. I only sing when I'm in the dark or in the bath. I've only ever been in love once. Uh, it was with a girl I met when I was 18, but I was too young and naive to handle it properly. And I guess I still carry a torch for it, which makes me an incurable romantic or... Makes me an incurable romantic or underdeveloped emotionally. Or under 
developed emotionally. I'm a loyal friend. I like girls with nice smiles. Nice smile. Well, uh, the psych profile says so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like horoscopes and everything. <laughs> That's not what they told me in my psych interview. They said that even the most basic undercover work was a big adrenaline rush, and that loving and supportive partners like me should be aware of that and help you adjust. My job got a lot more interesting today, thanks for asking. The new anesthesiologist asked me out to dinner. <laughs> And we both have jobs where we can't wear our wedding rings to work. <sighs> Professional hazard. I will tell you, he is very attractive and very charming. And I turned him down, of course. <laughs> yeah, also, they tend to be sort of unhinged. What does it matter what his name is? Steven. Oh, Steven. <laughs> Look, he puts people to sleep for a living. He's not a brave law enforcer like you. Oh, you're a samurai. You're a warrior knight. <laughs> Prove it. I want to take a look at what those college town tramps are being denied. Oh, if you so much as look at one of them, I'll come over there and bite your service pistol off with my own teeth. Yeah, well, I am the man of the house now. <laughs> She's coming for a visit tomorrow. That's not what they told me in my psych interview. They said that even the most basic undercover work was a big... are attractive and charming. What's his name? Because I want to hear how you say it.
stop it. Don't stop. You're turning me on. No way, not unless you give me something in return. Yeah, because those college town tramps, they are shameless, let me tell you. <laughs> mm, you talk a good game online. Uh, I gotta go. What about her? Don't be angry. the anesthesiologist and he said that I might need to take her to see somebody because at her age it could be dementia but she hates hospitals you know she's convinced that the doctors had it in for Papa and that's why he... yeah I don't know maybe I'm just blowing it all out of proportion Look, I'm telling you, she won't go. Okay, David, she's a grown woman. I'm not gonna trick her into going to the doctor. Yeah, and Alba's so happy to have her Mima here. And I guess if she really is sick, then it's better that she's here instead of on her own in Texas, you know? Rude you. You don't get to be jealous. Jealous. You know. They don't pay anesthesiologists the big bucks to put people to sleep. It's because you don't wake them up again afterwards. <laughs> I just broke things off with him because I felt bad lying to him. But uh, screwing him, that felt like breaking a spell. But why don't you just tell me what you've been doing over there? You're lying. You're a professional liar. It's literally your job. Yeah, and they trained you how to lie. Make me. She's ill, you know, she's got dementia. Good.
No sé. I don't want to keep talking, but it's late here. I don't want to wake anybody up. Because at her age, it could be dementia, but she hates hospitals. That's the way Papa used to look at Mama. It's poison. And Mama has been entirely dependent on me for love for 30 years. And I'm not going to do that to Alba. Look, I'm not talking about any... Just don't... Don't send me underwear. <sighs> okay, well, give us a warning next time because it freaks Alba out when you just show up. Okay, I got to go to work. Happy Valentine's. about Papa. You know, there was no deathbed conversion. But, you know, her lying there, it was, it was easier to see her for what she was. You know, she was a woman in a bad marriage who was just doing the best she could. <laughs> David, I don't care about the funeral. We need to talk. <laughs> Next time you're here, I want to I want to be able to look in your eyes. Mama's Papa.
Wumpelstiltskin. I'm getting tired. That's a good story, but I am very sleepy now. That's the way Papa used to look at Mama. It's poison. And Mama has been entirely dependent on me for love for 30 years, and I'm not going to do that. I got Alva ready for camp, made her a spectacular lunch. No PB&J, otherwise she has to sit at the peanut table. At work, I pulled a messy code blue back from the brink and administered a sub-Q insulin that my patient didn't even feel. Picked Alva up, made her dinner, soup, because her tooth hurts. And then we had to watch a Disney princess movie because Mama sent us the damn box set. Hey, can I call you back after Alba goes down? It's late. I gotta get her in the bath. All right. Love you. Can I call you back after Alba goes down? It's late. I gotta get her in the bath. All right. Love you. Picked Alva up, made her dinner, soup, because her tooth hurts. <laughs> and then we had to watch a Disney princess movie, because Mama sent us the damn box set. Hey, can I call you back after Alva goes down? It's late. I gotta get her in the bath. All right. Love you. You know, I mean, Alba loves having me there, honey. Well, I mean, she's there to help. She's an extra pair of hands. two girls, so I really appreciate that, Laura. Yeah, well, okay, we have, we both have important jobs, Laura, that, that's our life now, okay? can make this work.
Okay, Mama, could you go check on Alba in the bathroom, please? Sure. Bye, David. <sighs> God. No, you're not. And she's right. That's what's so infuriating. I got this. It's fine. You go catch some bad guys. I wanted Alba to be one of the more modern heroines, but Mama bought the costume. So. And she loves it. Oh, doesn't she look so pretty? Oh, Halloween is so important to children, and I wanted her to feel special. It's fine, Mama. Hey, why don't you go play in your room, sweetheart? Alba is fine. Look, Mama, this is a family. David is here, and he's working. He's always working. He walks in the door, and he expects me to have my best face on. Mama. I'm never going to keep a man up with so I'll run the back. Okay. You have to be here for Thanksgiving and the recital, okay? I sent you the date. The Bureau was very insistent that we were a strong family unit. You'd think they'd want to make some effort to keep things that way. <laughs> we should frame that report with our diplomas. We're both great at taking tests. I gotta go. David. No, I'm at work, remember? I'm sure Emma I've told you I'm going to be home in a few weeks for a short visit, though. Well, that's because my work doesn't look like normal work. No. It's David. Hey, Laura. Um, I wasn't expecting you. Uh, you feeling okay? Is, is, is Emma there, Laura? Or... Emma hates Dennis. <laughs> is... 
It's David. It's David, Laura. Paul. Well, Paul was a bad man. Okay. Um. No, no. No, it's fine. You, you know, you, you take care of Laura. Okay. Hey, Laura. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard. I heard you you came to help my two girls, so I really appreciate that little. Hey, Laura. You don't know Emma like I do. She's not as tough as she thinks she is. You are such a good husband. You need to be here. Your daughter needs to feel like a part of a family. Okay, Mama, could you go check on Alba in the bathroom, please? Sure. Bye, David. And she's right. That's what's so infuriating. You got nothing to feel guilty about, Emma. Jesus. Yeah, and I don't think you're picking up on how bad it's gotten. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you shouldn't have left them alone. Keep fighting. <sighs> Love you.
Hey, Emma, can I, can I talk to you for just a second? Alone? Yeah? Hey, um, look, I got bad news. Okay, I can't make Thanksgiving. I, I know you did, huh? I, I know. No, we're showing solidarity with the protesters. And you, I mean, you know these kids, they're not the kind to want to hang out with the families on the holidays. If it's any consolation, I'm going to be eating tofu instead of turkey. Okay. Hey, Emma, don't... Hey, babe. Hi, happy Thanksgiving. What? What do you mean you ate pumpkin pie? Well, that's great, because that just means that there's going to be more pumpkin pie for me. <laughs> you have? Wow. Well, guess what? I'll give you five dollars, too. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it for the world, kid. No, Alba, 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 that was very naughty. You don't do that to people when they're asleep. Alba? Alba. Hi. No, hello, it's, it's David. No, I'm at work, remember? I'm sure Emma, I've told you I'm gonna be home in a few weeks for a short visit though. Well, that's because my work doesn't look like normal work. No. It's David. Okay, hey, Emma, 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 can I talk to her? Emma, let me, let me talk. Nothing to feel guilty about. Okay, hey. Hey, Emma, can I can I talk to you for just a second? Alone? Yeah. Hey, um, look. I got bad news. Okay, I can't make Thanksgiving. You have to be here for Thanksgiving and the recital, okay? I sent you the date. <laughs> the Bureau was very insistent that we were a strong family unit. You think they'd want to... On Thanksgiving, families across America come together to celebrate and to give thanks for food and family. But this holiday also erases the genocide in our history, the theft of the land and its resources that was the foundation of America. This theft continues today. The government acts in favor of corporations and allows them to brutalize the land, water, and people. All for what? To sell more fossil fuels? For corporate profits. This pipeline will pollute the water and bring illness and death. So we encourage all of you to protest peacefully to block further pipeline development 
and to protect the land for future generations. Water is life. Say no to the sovereign pipeline. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sorry I ruined Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, something we really just do for Alba's benefit anyway. And all she really wants is her dada, so. Maybe Mike could send over another agent to take your place? You know, that could work for me too. You know, there's only so much you can do over the phone. Are agents allowed to screw on assignment? <laughs> sure. Oh, like, uh, only fire your weapon if you intend to kill. Gotta love a clean shooting. Alba wants to talk to you. Dada! I need pumpkin pie. I've been practicing for my recital. Mama says she will give me five dollars if I sing. You're going to be there? Daddy, watch that. Go! Go! Daniel, what are you doing there? I thought you were at home. Did you step out? No, you don't look like you're at work. Christ, I'm so tired. I fell asleep waiting for you to come home. Two drinks and I'm out like a light. Happy Thanksgiving, honey. Wake me when you get in, okay? On Thanksgiving, families across America come together to celebrate and to give thanks for food and family. But this holiday also erases the genocide in our history. This holiday also erases the genocide in our history, the theft of the land and its resources that was the foundation of America. This theft continues today. The government acts in favor of corporations and allows them to brutalize the land, water, and people. All for what? To sell more fossil fuels? For corporate profits. This pipeline will pollute the water and bring illness and death. 
So we encourage all of you to protest peacefully to block further pipeline development and to protect the land for future generations. Water is life. Say no. The water in the studio tanks was freezing and gave us all cramps. Then there was, uh, Jack. Jack didn't act the part of Hercules. He believed he was Hercules. All the women on Earth, mere mortals, created by the gods for his pleasure. After the show, he summoned me to his dressing room. Inside, he was stood, naked, posed like a classical sculpture. A shockingly well-endowed one. I ran. Uh... And Hercules and his, <laughs> and his club chased me down the corridor like something out of a horror movie. Okay, that, that's a, an old library book. It falls at that part. Mm -hmm. I like reading about how people got famous. Y yeah, I mean, that's... The idea, but I didn't want to embarrass you. Mm. Being ladylike. I had fun tonight. And listen, I don't want you to think that my Cinderella act, I just, I'm in a place where I'm not really rushing anything like that right now. Me too. <laughs> Ugh. I think I've made this awkward. Yeah. Good night.